what's up guys, Austin back with another rowing video. And in today's video, we're gonna be learning all about the racing start. So essentially a racing start is a series of about five rowing strokes at different stroke lengths designed to sort of get you up to speed to your racing pace. And if you look at rowing as a sport on the water, if the boats are starting from a dead stop, every single crew out there has a racing start sequence that they do. Now, depending on the boat, the organization, the team, there are a few different combinations and variations to a racing start, but essentially it encompasses a series of strokes that are either half strokes, three quarters length strokes, or full strokes, some combination of those three styles. And the racing start sequence that I'm most familiar with goes three quarters, half, three quarters, three quarters full. So those five strokes essentially designed to get the boat up and going and get you to your race pace. So here's what it looks like on the machine. Now from a glance, the racing start like that seems like the optimal way to get you up and going towards your rowing sprint effort. Whether you're doing a 2,000 meter row or a 500 meter row or a 200 meter, you know, that might seem like the best way to go about getting yourself up and going, but I'm gonna have you reconsider. If we think about the racing start sequence and what it's really designed to do, we just have to look at any boat on the water. You know, if you're in an eight person boat with a coxswain, nine people in a 200 pound boat adding on thousands of pounds of weight, starting from a dead stop and moving through water, you need to take these short sort of half three quarters strokes in a quick sequence to get the boat moving from a dead stop and up to its racing speed. But when we're on the rowing machine, we're not rowing on the water. And the monitor, the computer that is sensing our rowing stroke power, it reacts instantaneously to whatever power you're producing. We don't have to get the machine up and going because it's sensing your power right away. And if you're a beginner to rowing or you've only been rowing for a few months and you're not like super like in sync with how your body needs to change depending on the type of rowing that you're doing, if you're not super familiar with how your power translates to different distances and how to control your stroke rate, a lot of us could start this racing start and because of the adrenaline pumping and that initial burst of energy that we get, sometimes it's very, very difficult to settle into the sustainable pace that you're going about, for instance, for like a 2,000 meter row. Essentially, you're starting so hot, you just think you're on top of the world and you can keep going and then you get 500 meters in and you crash and burn and die. So unless you're super familiar with your body and the rowing machine and how to instantly settle after a racing start sequence, you're most likely going to sort of crash and burn if you sort of engage with this starting sequence right off the bat. So my advice, don't do a racing start on the rowing machine. There's really no need to. And instead, my suggestion, keep it super simple three to five hard strokes, maybe at a little bit of a faster rate, maybe, but not too crazy now, three to five hard strokes, and then after that fifth stroke, or after that third stroke, I just stick with three personally, settle right into your pace. Get yourself right to where you need to be, because again, you're gonna be feeling on top of the world, but you need to settle, because whatever effort you're doing, I like to think of the 2,000 meter row, that's gonna be, you know, six to 10 minutes of a your max effort, which means you can't go crazy hot, crazy intense right off the bat. You gotta settle to the pace that your goal is set out to do. So instead of a racing start, give the three to five hard strokes a try and get to pace. Looks something like this. So guys, while the racing start is essential to rowing teams that are racing on the water from the boats that are starting from a dead stop, you don't need a racing start to perform optimally here 
on the rowing machine. Give yourself a few hard strokes to get yourself going, but it's very important to get right to pace because we're not trying to get this this erg moving across water or across land or anything like that, and the computer is sensing your power output right away. So practice focusing on consistency and getting right to where you need to be, and don't worry too much about you know, a crazy specific sort of start sequence. That's my advice to you. I hope it could help you out. I hope it could shed a little insight into what a racing start is and why you really don't need it when you're on here on the rowing machine. But as always, I love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video.